Welcome to this year's Valentine's Day painting adventure. I just got my admission sticker for the Wisconsin State Park System, and we're gonna do a little bit of painting out here at Devil's Lake. It's besides painting out here at Devil's Lake today, we're gonna get up into the studio and we're gonna make some little Valentine's Day still life paintings of some roses as well. So I'm so glad that you guys are here and I'm gonna get started on a painting out here at Devil's Lake. I parked the van right behind me. We're out here at the North Shore on Devil's Lake. We're gonna go over here and paint an image of this little bridge that is kind of covered in the snow right now. I've noticed this bridge throughout the years and I've always thought to myself that it would be a cool subject for a painting. Of course, Theodore Robinson has his famous paintings of bridges that he did, and I can kind of, you know, take some inspiration from that. And as I was driving through Devil's Lake, you can see the bridge right behind me. I think it's kind of a cool subject, a nice romantic subject for today's video, seeing that it is our Valentine's Day video. And nothing left to do but to get this painting started. I mean, it's finished as it needs to be. I just want to get out and record my experience of winter. Yeah, I'm getting somewhere on it, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, but what inspired you with this kind of color palette, the purples and the deep well, I mean, kind of blood red almost? You're picking up some of those deep red colors and there's a couple of leaves that are here. Um, yeah. Some of that is still going to be covered up yet, but I am going to leave a lot of that coming through just to show little flickers of color uh -huh. that are little happening. flickers, yeah, I see that. And you got that color kind of end of stone and, mm -hmm. yeah, there is some warm tones coming through and it's just those, uh, uh some uh -huh. color. And, oh, that's nice just because usually, you know, winters are such monochrome things. There's a lot of these kind of days, you know, these monochrome days. We didn't realize it was going to be so windy today. Down by the lake, it's brutal. We were going to walk around, but no, I'm not doing it on the lake today. Zero feels a lot better than 20. Well, let's hope for no more zeros this year then.
We're finishing up today's effort out here in the field. And here's the painting right behind me. And you can see the, the little bridge just beyond that. It was a challenging painting session. The wind made it a little bit difficult to paint at first. This poor old French easel has, has seen better days. It's pretty wobbly. And so when that wind was blowing, it really made it challenging to paint just because the easel was bopping back and forth. But after a while, the wind kind of died down and, and the sun broke through the clouds and I was able to get my impressions onto the canvas. Now, there's a lot of dappled light happening in this painting. There's some complex drawing issues happening. We're looking through some trees. And so there was plenty of stuff that I had to paint. Even though it was a complex scene to paint, I'm happy with the outcome. I think I was able to simplify things and get what I needed to get on the canvas. And of course, I left a lot out as well. I'm gonna pack my things up and I think I'll take another look at this in the studio this afternoon just to see if there's anything else that needs to change with this painting. But I think I've said what I need to say outdoors and that can happen at a later date. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's head up into the studio. We'll work on those Valentine's Day roses next in the video. But thanks so much for being out here with me at Devil's Lake while we painted the little bridge. Kind of a romantic scene for Valentine's. Couldn't you just imagine walking across that bridge with your partner and having a nice long walk on a nice romantic afternoon? I know I could imagine that and maybe Corvin and I will get out for something like that this afternoon as well. Morning, we're up in the studio and it was 35 degrees below zero this morning when we woke up. School was canceled. I decided to take advantage of it and create a small still life painting up here in the studio. And Art Gecko is one of our favorite stores to visit in Madison and we came across this nice little placement. The colors and the imagery was just so happy to me that I decided to set up a little still life and paint it. And the jar that the roses are placed in is actually my great great grandma's fruit jars that my mom got at her estate sale or auction. All right, let's hop right into it. Let's get started on today's painting. Whenever I paint a still life, it seems like I'm constantly moving things around. Here I'm moving the little fruit jar with the roses in it before I start painting. And even when I start the painting process, sometimes I move things around like I'm about to do here. I'm about to wipe everything off of the painting surface just to move things around a little bit. And I realize that the big shapes of the flowers and the jar aren't exactly in the right place on the canvas where I want them to be. I just wipe it off the canvas and start fresh. Here I'm starting to indicate the light and shadow, the lit planes and the shadow planes on the roses. And I think being able to see in terms of light and shadow is a good skill for a painter to have, especially when working small like this where there's not going to be too much detailed information present. I'm using a big brush and I'm just kind of plowing through those big shapes that I'm seeing. This painting is just going to end up being an arrangement of shapes.
So I hope that you're enjoying your Valentine's Day weekend, doing something special to celebrate. And if you're a painter, I hope that this weekend celebration can include painting the light. Maybe you'll even set up a little Valentine's Day still life in your window and paint it. For me and Corbin and the dogs and the cats out here on the farm, I just want to say happy Valentine's Day. We've had Valentine's Day specials on this channel for the past two years, so you're going to have to dig back through the videos and find those if you want to see some more Valentine's Day painting sessions. But it's really nice to have you here as always, and I'll look forward to seeing you again next week.